Now before we start, I'd just like to remind you of the competition that we're having to win £250 each month in 2021. Full details on how to enter will be discussed at the end of this video, so make sure that you watch all the way through to the end. Now if we take a quick overview, a vector is a quantity which has a magnitude but also a direction. So, so far what we're used to in two-dimensional coordinate systems is that the, the straight line that we generate doesn't have a direction, nor do we quantify its magnitude. Now, the magnitude refers to the size, and the direction refers to the movement of the vector itself. And the vectors can be expressed in what's known as component form, but they can also be expressed in coordinate form in a slightly different way to what we're normally used to. And a quantity which has a magnitude by no direction is referred to as a scalar. So such examples would be a regular straight line that we do in two dimensions, whereby it doesn't say we go from A to B or from B to A, it just is a straight line. Whereas the vector, we must define what direction it's going, whether it's going from A to B or B to B to C, etc. Now the component form can be written as follows. Now the top value refers to the distance in the x-axis and the bottom value refers to the distance in the y-axis. Now this is a very simplistic a scenario here because we do take this to the next level with three dimensional vectors but just so that we get the the component form correct and we understand how to read these vectors there in two dimensions then it will make it easier for three dimensions now a general formula for adding and subtracting the vectors can be given by this expression here. So what we are saying here is if we want to add u and v, what we do is we add the two top values and then we add the two bottom values. And remember we have to keep in this uh, vertical notation. So we have to make sure that the top values remain at the top and the bottom values remain at the bottom. So if we take an example here, it asks us to calculate u plus v, where it gives us the vectors u and v. So we first will substitute them in to u and v. So we have 4 over 5 plus minus 6 over 1. And then we add the two top values and we add the two bottom values. So u, dot, u plus v will give us minus 2 over 6, because 4 plus minus 6 is minus 2, and 5 plus 1 is 6. And that is essentially how you would add and subtract uh, two-dimensional vectors. So now it is your turn. In order to qualify for the £250 giveaway each month in 2021, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment the correct answer to this question here. So it says that we want to find the value of P if Q is minus 2 and 5 and we know that P plus Q is 3 over 7. So therefore, we would need to rearrange this equation in order to find P. And then once you have the value of P, just comment your answer. Use a comma to separate from the top value and the bottom value and only valid subscribers with the correct answer will be entered into the prize giveaway each month and the more videos that you comment on the more entries that you will have thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel leave any comments in the comment section below along with the answer to the question that we just seen before and we'll see you in the next video